welcome back to Rational Funk. We wanted to touch on memorization a little bit more. We had talked a little bit earlier about the idea of memorizing the music you're playing. <clears throat> now, of course, rock and rollers are like, well, of course, man. But you're dealing with some dense jazz stuff, or you're dealing with contemporary classical music or anything in the classical world or you whatever. Somehow, it's like, you know, uh, it's, in a lot of modern jazz, you're dealing with charts. You're dealing with, okay, we got to get this together. I got this level of musicians. Excuse me, they're all thinking about leading their own session at some point soon, but they're all capable of like dealing. And so it's like, yeah, give me the chart. It doesn't matter if it, how completely, it doesn't matter if it looks like fucking stock reports written in some language that was discovered in, uh, in some canister buried beneath like 100 feet of volcanic sand on Mars. And they open this canister up and they're looking at it like this. Oh, uh, whoa, uh, this is either some um, arcane language from a Martian a civilization that's 16 billion years old, or it's a Tim Byrne chart. <laughs> um, you know, either one. Okay, fine, I get it. Everybody's got to do it. But, man, what about just going in there and memorizing it, okay? How many times are you like this? Hey, have you ever seen E.T.? Yeah, I saw it. What happens in it? Oh, are you kidding me, man? So these kids are on dirt bikes, and then like there's this either one of the kids is like disillusioned because you know his dad has moved out and like whatever, and so he needs a father figure. Okay, so then the the, the, the there's an alien and he lives in a shed, and then he finds him in the shed because somebody left him there and abandoned him, and he's addicted to Reese's Pieces. His fucking glycemic index is exploding. Okay, the kid finds him. He becomes his friend, he needs a dad. The dad is three and a half feet tall, he's covered in brown slime, cannot smell good. They're fucking hanging out, he's hiding him from his mom. Oh my fucking God, this also. So then the kid takes him to school, the kid is connected to him psychically. Anything the fucking monster does, the kid fucking feels it. They're somehow metaphysically in connected because the fucking alien is sitting there fucking dealing like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm down on this planet. They fucking left me. I was just out looking for some fucking truffles or something in the fucking woods. I'm like, nobody even realizes the guy is a fucking truffle sniffing hound. I mean, E.T. is actually looking for truffles. Fuck these French pigs that find that shit. Truffles are worth way fucking more. You think they're expensive here. Truffles are worth a fuck ton on E.T.'s planet, okay? So E.T.'s on the woods, his friends leave him. They're, they're fucking gone. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> the kid is like, oh man, dad, I need a dad. So anyway, they get on their dirt bikes, they're fucking tearing the shit up. His friends are fucking crazy. They're driving their bikes everywhere. They're trying to construct a fucking intergalactic telephone with a fucking saw blade and a and a and they're, they're a saw blade. Okay, so he gets a saw blade and some fucking barbed wire, and then he connects it to a speaking spell. And all of a sudden, this fucking thing is communicating with something sixty-nine light million fucking years away. Okay, and all of a sudden they're gonna come back because they received the fucking transmission. Meanwhile, the kid's like, no, I don't wanna lose my dad. And there's a whole government faction just rolling around in white suits and they wanna fucking find this kid and this fucking alien because of course the government's just gonna be a couple of guys in some suits. They're not gonna fucking bring. Of course we know at any given time the fucking world government is just gonna show up with a couple of guys in some suits. They're not gonna fucking show up with a fucking nuclear cannon and blow the fucking thing away. They're gonna fucking find out what's going on. And so the, all of this is happening and then the kid is like, don't, we gotta send him back. And the kid and the fucking guy, man, this shit, you have to see this shit. You didn't see that? What the fuck? That's the memory I'm talking about. Use that fucking memory when it comes. Somebody hands a fucking chart out and you're like, this, I can read anything, so let me just look at the chart. I don't need to connect with this as some sort of story or some sort of musical 
thing. I just want to fucking read it off the page, okay? I can do it. I went to Eastman. I'm a fucking badass. Go. All right, what is this in 75-3? I got it, man. What, are we gonna displace it? No, <laughs> tell me something else. I'm gonna make a fucking sandwich while we're displacing this. Are you kidding me? Let's go, I'll sight read it. Come on. What is this, a Georg Ligeti chart? No fucking problem, I got it. Look, anybody, hey, anybody want a grilled cheese sandwich while I'm fucking reading this? Wait, where are you going? Don't take the chart away. What do I do? I don't know what to do. Where's the chart? I'll tell you what to do. Remember E.T. Remember that you remember all that shit. Right, Joe? Right. Like what? Name another movie, buddy. Uh, Top Gun. Never saw it. 